the Partners Project. I'm right now with Lisa Lavi. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Say that because we are both actually from Montreal. Yes, and so, and it's French, la vie. It is. People might say, what, what, what do they say, la vie, la vie, um, la vie. La vie. Very often. Come on, <laughs> How would you describe your channel to people? Most of the videos that I put up on my main channel uh, is mostly singing videos. Impossible. It's like R&B, pop. I try and, and cover a few different songs that I like that are a little bit out of my vein. Like I like doing some hip hop stuff as well. Because uh, that resonates with me. I grew up around hip hop. My brother's a hip hop DJ. And so I do a lot of different things. And then I have another channel where I basically show people my life on the road. Hey guys, so this is the start of our US Canada tour. And do more like personal vlogs yeah. and stuff like that. I got one of my teeth and it fell on the floor and they're trying to find it. <laughs> we don't know. So how did you make your way to LA? Actually, it's been a while. I'm out in LA. I came out here initially to work with a producer that reached out to me who had like a demo of songs that I had written when I was like 16. Oh, wow. I've been writing a lot more songs recently and feeling very creative. I cannot wait to share these ideas with you guys. I came out here to work with him and I've been out here ever since. It's been maybe eight years now that I'm out in LA doing and my thing. So what was your first video that you posted? First video I posted was a song called Falling For You. It's an original song of mine that I wrote. I really had no idea what YouTube was. And one of my cousins was like, Lisa, do you know this singer? I'm like, no. And they kept on naming singers. I'm like, I don't know any of these people. Yeah. They're like, well, they're on YouTube. I'm like, what's YouTube? <laughs> so I really did not expect there to be over 250 video responses. And so they showed me and I saw all these comments and I was like, how cool is that? You could post up material and then people are gonna start leaving their feedback. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know, why not post up one of my original songs and see if anybody likes it. And so I posted it up and next thing you know, I had one comment and I was like, oh my God, I have a comment, how cool. Exactly. <laughs> hey guys, so I have a question for you. From there it just started, you know, slowly, slowly building mm -hmm. and I was replying back to everybody who was reaching out to me and slowly started building a fan base like that. Did you have one video that really struck? Yes. It's called, it's a song I wrote called Angel. When I posted up that song, I know it doesn't sound like a lot of views like right now, no, but when I posted it up, it got like 11,000 views in three days yeah. and I was tripping. I was like, 11,000 views, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. I'm an angel. I was replying back to everybody that wrote and then it started, you know, getting more and more views. And then next thing you know, that seeing that I was replying back to the hundreds of people that were writing to me in a very short amount of time, like I'm, I go crazy on the keypad, right? Uh -huh. So I was writing back to everybody and then YouTube on their end, it looked like I was a bot replying oh back to God. people. So no they way. suspended my account. That's horrible. And I was like, oh my God. It was like almost like a little mini nervous breakdown. Like yeah. how could they suspend me? I'm not doing anything wrong. Mm -hmm. So for like a week I was writing to them like, you guys are causing me emotional stress and this and that. I'm like, because of this, you guys have to reopen my account and put me on the front page. Yeah. Next thing you know, my account's back on. I'm so happy. A week later, Angel is on the home no page way. of YouTube. And I was so ecstatic. I'm like, wow, they actually did it. It was and meant so, to happen because it wouldn't have I guess so. Home page. And so uh, that song, you know, being on the home page, it got a million views and then it just started going viral from there and it has now, I think, eight million views. And so no that was like way. the song that was like, boom. Any other day, any other time and place. It's rare that the song that hit was an original because I feel like so many videos that go viral and songs are parodies these days right. of songs that are already around. Right. Or a take on a song that people know about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's absolutely, I was shocked myself. I was like, you know, for a while I'm like, you know, let me post up a bunch of cover songs because yeah. that's what really pops. And then I was like, I wanted to take a different approach and just put up all of my own original stuff and see if it bites and see what people like, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was shocked myself. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so after that, from there, how did you decide to continue your channel? 
Um, well, I just thought, you know, going the major label route, which is what a lot of people do, it's not really my thing. Honestly, I don't like to be confined. I don't like to be put in a box and told like, you have to sound like this, you have to look like this, you have to sing like this. These are the songs that you're gonna sing. These are the people that you're gonna work with. To me, it's like, I wanna be happy. This is what I wanna do and I wanna be happy doing it. So I wanna create my own destiny. So by bypassing the labels and being on YouTube, that was basically my, my, my way out you yeah. know what I mean that was a way that I could channel my own audience and connect one-on-one -on -one with people so mm -hmm. so that's why I decided I'm just gonna stick with this and you know see what happens and it's also not going through the album cycles like oh I need to wait and work and not put out anything for right. a while and you're going through the cycles and now I can do the marketing and promotion right right it's right like, oh now I can connect with it's people. like you can do it whenever you want, yeah. at the drop of a dime, which is what I love about it, you know? All right, guys, so right now I'm in Mexico City. Do you have any artists who inspire you on YouTube or off YouTube? Artists that inspire me. Okay, I love mm -hmm. Alicia Keys. Yeah. I love Beyonce. I love Beyonce's new album. I so vibe with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of artists on YouTube that I really like as well. There's a guy named Eve So Fresh. Mm -hmm. His voice is like ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous. Orlando Dixon, his voice is amazing. Stacy Dudero. I mean, there's a lot of YouTube artists that are like <sighs> so you good. Start your own label. I know, right? <laughs> you like label it and you like. Don't do labels except this label. <laughs> except for <from> mine. <laughs> I mean, there's something about that. I think that's gonna start happening. I think so too. I think so too. I, I think it should, as long as the right people are working it. Definitely. Because it's such a pity to see what's going on in Hollywood and like honestly all over the world what's going on with record labels mm -hmm. and just taking people not knowing what to do with There's them and fear. holding them. Yeah. yeah, it's like, it's horrible. I wish somebody would be like, have a label and it's like, there's funding behind it and you know what to do and you have the right artists and you don't yeah. screw them over. You don't screw them over. You know what I mean? But it's, it's hard to find that. It's really hard to find that. I wonder if what you've been doing on YouTube help when you're then pushing an album on your own? Oh my God, absolutely. Because you have your base, you know yeah. what I mean? You have everybody who's like rooting for you and supporting you. So when you have, uh, if I didn't have that, it would be like, okay, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna sign to a label and have them tell me exactly how to dress and, and what to do. And come through, maybe it will get right. stalled. Exactly. Do you know how many people I know that are signed to labels and it's like four years later, I'm like, hey, what's going on? They're like, you know, they were supposed to release my album, but it's not happening and blah, 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 blah. I mean, it happens every day. It, it happens to me. My, so it's like the energy out of me when I hear that. When people are just like, they have so much talent, they have the idea, it's there. And they just wait and wait and wait, wait, wait. And the thing is, oftentimes record labels and producers and people, they sign people just with just them. to keep them and not really do anything with yeah. them. So be careful to all you singers out there who are watching this. You know, you really have to be careful about that because that happened to me. Mm -hmm. And it happened to so many people that I know. So it's like, be careful, be careful. <laughs> Something. Something. What do they think, these kind of more traditional musicians, about what you're doing on YouTube? Do they know? I mean, I don't think everybody really knows. I don't really talk about it all that much when yeah. I'm on the road. <laughs> I sort of just do my own thing. You know, we're all in our own little worlds and mm -hmm. doing our own thing. But the people that do know think that it's really cool. They don't understand how you could post something up online then millions of people watch it, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like, well, what do you mean? You're not with a label, you're not, uh, so how is it, who are you working with? What's you know, they, happening? They think that the way to work or say that you're working is when someone tells you that you're working. It's right. Like, oh no, I'm working all the time, I'm working for myself. Right, exactly, right? exactly. I need someone to flip the switch and be like, okay, right. now you're right. wrong. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. And that's why we do what we do here as well. Yeah, yeah. Empowerment. Independent. Empowerment. Yes. <laughs> Well, Lisa, you are so wonderful. It's a Thank pleasure. You. And Thank I love you it because so much. she's a fellow Montrealer. Go Canada. That's a connection. Go Canada. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for giving us your advice and Absolutely. sharing what you love. We couldn't do what we love doing without all of you. So thank you for your support and stay tuned next week for another Partners Project. Bye. Thanks.